What up, John? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Are they downstairs? OK. Oh, we finna turn up. Comedy hype, what it do? It's your boy Alex Thomas, live ATL. Five shows tonight, Uptown Comedy Club. Shout out John over at Comedy Hype. I see you, bro. We finally, I'm finally here, right? We about to turn up tonight. You remember my shit, his name is Ray. He's in the gang. If you don't like it, he's got to get out the gang. What? Get out the gang. Uh, where y'all from? Iowa. Iowa? They got black people in Iowa? <laughs> Two could play that game. Now you know me. What's your name? It's birthday. Take what's, what's your name? My name's Angela. Angela Alex Thomas. Imani. Imani, you probably weren't old enough to see me on the Jamie Foxx no. show. Cause she about 10, 11. No, I'm just saying. What is Funny man Alex Thomas. And I'm just curious. I did not know there was black folks in Iowa. Are we out there? Here we go. Are we out there? Government cheese. Why okay. you gotta do the booty on the side too? You go like that. I see you. What if I did the same shit? Wait, go back to your name again. Ebony. Ebonique. That's different. I heard it. Ebony. Ebonique. <laughs> Feels good to do what you love to do and get paid to do it. You feel me? What are you wearing so we know in Iowa what the hot shit is? Stop. Is that FUBU? Oh, hey. Nigga, I was about to say FUBU came back in Iowa. Is this the new FUBU hip out? I'll be honest with you. When you got out, I really thought she, I thought she was T Boss. I thought she was T Boss. Okay, gangster, I see the tattoo on your neck. Mama got a tattoo on her neck. She gangster. I'm on a nap. Turn to the side. I wanna get the I wanna get the FUBU hip out. There you go. Now turn the back side. But don't go don't. Oh, and she really did it. And she really did it. That's where I know her from, the twerk video. The bunny don't stop. Yeah! My top five Def Jam comedians. Well, I would have to start with a nigga named Alex Thomas. Because <laughs> uh, I was one of the young kids coming up at that time. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to Russell Simmons for giving me that shot. And also Bob Sumner. If you guys do your comedy history, Bob Sumner is one of the cats that put all of us on the show. From Bernie Mac to Bill Bellamy to Chris Tucker to anybody and everybody that came out of Def Comedy Jam. Bob Sumner was the talent coordinator for Russell Simmons. Martin, of course, you know, not just, you know, him being the guy he was, but he was such an amazing host. He was so spontaneous, but he was spontaneous and he also had jokes. You know, he had bits. He knew how to keep that crowd hyped, you know, and he was just a talented dude. If Buster Rhymes mm -hmm. really wanted to get on that stage, just his stories alone. Buster does impressions and all kinds of shit. He, he's hysterical. Uh, if 2 Chains wanted to do some stand-up, I can see him doing stand-up because he's funny and I don't even think he, kn he knows it. He is a character. Um, you know who else is funny? Who I always respected? Luda. Ludacris, because Ludacris always had funny, funny punchlines in his hit rap songs. You know, it's like a midget hanging from my necklace. You know what I mean? Oh, Steve Brown just started. Is that Steve Brown? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is he the host here? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, he's normally the host unless he's out of time. Okay. Turn up too. Man, working. Who's the feature this week? Uh, Young Cat. I don't, I don't, I can't remember. All right. Spencer or something. Spencer or something. Good, good seeing you. Hanging in there? Yes, sir. Yes, all right, ready to do it? Yes, sir. That's what's up. The moment they go on time, What up, boy? I got here late, so I wasn't able to go to you. Hey! If you 30 or older, make some goddamn noise. So then you know this shit. So much drama in the L with C. It's kind of hard. Double G, but I keep coming up like every single day. All right. We got anybody from New York in the house? Shut up. What up, New York? Hey. New Yorkers are funny. They're the only people in the world. You ask one question, where do you live? They got to give you three answers. <laughs> where do you live? Brooklyn, 54th Street, Fort Green Projects. <laughs> 
That shit don't sound right, brothers. Where you from? South Central, Watchtower. It's my mama's house. <laughs> it don't sound right with foreigners either. Where you from? Africa, Jungle Road, I'm 52. <laughs> you saw Players Club and he say, yay, yay? <laughs> yes, I got knocked the fuck out. I was in all the motherfucking hood classics. I, Players Club was huge, man. I mean, I grew up in South Central LA, so I've been friends with Ice Cube since high school. Okay. You know, I was one of the dudes that, I was born in South Central LA, but I ain't never uh, been a Crip or a Blood. <laughs> you know, everybody in my family's Crips and Bloods. I didn't get caught up into the gangs. The closest I got to gangs was the Cub Scouts. That was my gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but they all knew me though. One reason why Dre, Snoop, Easy e rest in peace, all them respected me because they knew I was from the hood, but I wasn't trying to be something that I wasn't. Mm. I never claimed to be a gangster, you know. I, I, I never been to jail. Oh, I don't I don't have thug gangster characteristics. Uh, last time I was here, I went to possibly one of the most uh, ghetto <laughs> strip clubs. I have ever been to in my motherfucking life. Right. All I know is the first bitch that came on stage looked like she had the baby earlier that afternoon. Oh. I'm talking umbilical cord was still hanging. The DJ was like, give it up for Placentia. I can't lie, I can't lie. Because it was one bad one, you know? Bad, I, oh, nigga, last night, this one bitch, she looked like Halle Berry and Beyonce mixed together. Hey. Yeah, I called the bitch Halle Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually had a heart-to-heart -heart talk to the bitch. I was in the club talking to her, and, you know, just all of a sudden, she just started crying. She's like, <laughs> and I was like, what's wrong, Halle Beyonce? What's wrong? <laughs> She's like, stripping's in my blood. I was like, what do you, what? Like, stripping's in my blood. I was like, what do you mean strippers in your blood? She's like, my mama and my grandmama was strippers. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Your mama, was, your grandmama was a stripper? She's like, yeah, my grandmama used to strip in the late 60s in Alabama. I was like, damn, so she was like marching and uh, doing lap dances. Like, if your grandma was stripping in the late 60s, that had to be, like, before the stripper names. Right? You know what I mean? Because we know what stripper names are, you know, Delicious, Tata -ta Licious, Sapphire, Ciroc, you know. But if your grandma was stripping in 66? Nigga, that was like when the pole was wood. <laughs> so grandma had to deal with splinter, splinters and racism. But I'm like, what the fuck was your grandmama stripper name? That's what she used her real name. DJ Lay was give it up for Sister Lucille Jenkins. Oh, wow, papa, do ba, ba, ba. Two to prove it. <laughs> One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Uh, oh shit. This shit is cool, man. I love getting up here talking shit. Tupac was super, super cool with me, man. He used to come up every single Tuesday night to the comedy store on amateur nights to come see me, Chris Tucker, and my boy Daryl Heath. Pac used to come up to me all the time, be like, Alex, write me some jokes, nigga. Alex, you need to write me some jokes, nigga. I'm funny. I'm funny, nigga. And like when Suge would come up, he'd be like, all right, nigga. Let's do it next week. I, I got to go pull up this gun and try to go shoot a nigga right quick. You know what I mean? He was a gang. He was not this thug gang nigga that everybody uh, thinks he was. He was an amazing actor. He was a super talented dude, and he just knew how to turn it on and off. Because when he was around us, it, all we did was bag and talk shit. But when he was around them, he was this thug gangster nigga. Like, he really, you know, he really knew how to sell it. This is the home of the ignorant shit. Niggas here can make the dumbest shit sound dope as fuck. And I'm gonna tell you one dude that was the king of that shit. Gucci, Gucci man. Y'all know who Gucci man is? Now that motherfucker possibly couldn't have went to first grade. I'm just kidding. The lemonade shit? You know, he was just like, yellow car, yellow bit, 
yellow wrist watch, yellow living room furniture. I like lemonade. <laughs> I like yellow lemonade. I like chocolate lemonade. I like eating lemonade. I like shrimp in my lemonade. Do you like lemonade? My baba always said, drink lemonade. I like running with my lemonade. I'm like, this nigga is a ghetto ass for Gump right here. He looks like you're the youngest. Okay, so do you like hip hop? How long you been here in Atlanta? 23 years. Oh, so. You, what I'm about to do, if you don't know it, watch, watch the rest of the room go fucking crazy. Because you're probably going to think I made this up. But the song is this fucking stupid. Watch, 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 watch all these black people go crazy. Watch. This is a fucking real song. I'm not making this shit up. This was his song. And it, and it went platinum. You ready for this? Is you rolling? Is you rolling? Is you rolling? Is you rolling? Bitch, I might, baby. Bitch, I might, baby. Bitch, I might, baby. Bitch, I might, baby. Girl, he geek there. Girl, he geek there. Girl, he geek there. Girl, he geek there. Bitch, I might, baby. Bitch, I might, baby. That's a fucking song. I still say to this day, if Tupac was alive this day, a whole lot of niggas would have never made it. <laughs> a whole lot of niggas would not have had careers if Tupac was still here. So, you know what I mean? Rest in peace, Pac. He was a cool ass dude, man. Feels good to do what you love to do and get paid to do it. You feel me?